Neil, back to action this weekend. A number of players we have to ask you about first. We'll start with the new boys. Vardis or Gigi Foe, is he going to be in the picture? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, he had a slight thigh strain uh, when he joined us, but um, he's trained fine. So, uh, yeah, we're hopeful that he'll be able to join the squad for the first time. And the two new defenders, Ignacy Mikel, Josh Soivold? Yeah, no problem with those. They've trained uh, as normal and, and they'll go with us to Cardiff as well. So, uh, good news on them. Injury-wise, the, the two longer-term, first of all, Gary Hooper, Johnny House, and how are they getting on? They're very close now. Gary has trained with us um, uh, partly this week, so he's obviously very close. Johnny will uh, start training with the group next week, hopefully, so really pleased on them too. They've made a little bit quicker progress than we thought, so hopefully very close now to being back with us. And Gary O'Neill and Javi Greedo were darts before the Bournemouth game. Have you made it? Gary didn't. What's their situation? Yeah, both OK. Um, again, we've, we've just got to check one or two of the international players that come back, but we're, we're hoping, uh, fingers crossed, that we've, we've got more or less everybody back. Um, or if not, certainly when Johnny and, and Gary are back with us very soon. And Martin Olsen? Yeah, Martin played for 90 minutes in one of the, the games and I think 70, 73 in another. So again, haven't seen him as of yet. He'll be back in this morning, but we, as... Uh, Spoke to the physios, there's no reports of anything, uh, any knocks and bumps. So hopefully, best case scenario for, for all managers, they go away, when the players go away for international duty, you're crossing your fingers uh, and I'm hoping that we get everybody back fit and available. No other injury news from the lads who were who here over the break? No, everyone's fine. Um, just one or two bumps and bruises, uh, a couple of dead legs, but uh, I'm really hopeful that we've, uh, we're suddenly now getting a, a bigger squad with depth to it and now we're getting competition for places, which is important. Your first mid-season international break as manager. You said you might be on edge before it. Was, was it as bad as, it, as you thought it was going to well, be? Well, it was. It was a. It was a manic one. I've got to say because obviously the the uh, the transfer deadline came came just after the Bournemouth game, the, the, the Monday night, and as you can imagine, it's, it's it's frantic activity right up until that deadline. So uh, yeah, but it's it's been enjoyable. You really want the games to keep coming when you're on a good run of form, and as I say, when when you lose players and. We had 10 called up for international duty, which is which is a, a really healthy number in terms of how we're progressing with the players. But you're also risking 10 getting injured then, which is never nice. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased that hopefully we get everybody back fit and available. The first chance we've had to speak to you since since the window closed overall, when you look back on it, reflect back on it, is it, is it, is it one you're happy with? Yeah, really pleased. Um, I'm really pleased with the transfer strategy, really, since, since the summer. You know, we went for strikers to start. I said that was the priority, you know, we need to go and strengthen the striking department. We did that. And I know one or two people were maybe worrying that we just seem to be bringing in strikers all the time, but uh, there, was a, there was a reason and a rationale behind it. And hopefully people have seen that now because obviously defence also need, did need strengthening up. And uh, looking back at it now, the, the targets we had for the positions we had, we filled. We've added one or two more as well. So, uh, of course, we've lost uh, a few players as well, but we feel the squad we've got now is... There's a strong squad and also there's competition for places and the main thing is if we did pick up an injury in, in a position, or we, we're hoping now we've got good enough cover in that position. And the break will have given you an opportunity to reflect back on the first part of the season. Did you come to any new conclusions about it? No, we review, uh, obviously we review on a game-to-game on a, a -game basis and also in, in blocks and obviously an international break gives you that chance to look back. And No, we're really pleased with how things went. Um, certainly 10 points is, is a healthy return. Um, would have wanted more, of course. You know, you want to win every game and get as many points as you can. But certainly, over the block of five games, ten points is a good enough return. Uh, we're looking at this next block until the next uh, international break. Two weeks off, but now there's six games in the next two and a half weeks. It's pretty intense, isn't it? That's and and more more example there of how you need a big squad. Really, we play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Now I think in the next three weeks. Um, games coming thick and fast you're going to pick up a, an injury or two or maybe a suspension I don't know fingers crossed we don't but again what, we, what we've got to avoid if we want to be competing at the top end of the table is that we you know, we're not hit then with, with three or four injuries that really hurt you and, and you're not able to field what you feel is a, a strong enough squad to compete at this division. But we feel now we're at that stage. So with the games coming thick and fast, I think even more important how, how pleased we were with the business we did in the transfer window. And Cardiff is the first of those, of those six games, a fellow team who, who came down from the Premier League. What sort of challenge are you expecting from that one? Very tough one, of course, and particularly with them being at home. Um, you know, no different than anyone else. They, they're going to want to come at us and 
and try and win the game. But as I've said all the time, there's, there's no secrets. You know, anybody watching this from other clubs, you know, thinking, let's have a look, see what they're going to be doing. it would be the same as every game. We'll try and win it. Um, and that will be the focus. If we can't win it, you don't want to lose it. So we'll be going there. There'll be no difference in the strategy. Of course, we'll look at Cardiff, but the aim is to go down to, to Wales and come back with three points. The away when Ipswich was the first in, in, in 2014, did that give the lads a bit of confidence for these for these next road trips? Well, huge, obviously, with the magnitude of the game. Um, it was only three points, but there was just that little bit more, wasn't there, of course, with it being the East Anglian derby. So, uh, yeah, it was good to go there to just say, look, you know, we can win. We can win anywhere. If we can win here, we can win anywhere because um, we felt we were really in control that game. Um, there'd be other teams that oppose us different problems, but the confidence and spirit we've got in the group at the minute is excellent, so obviously we're confident going into games. And a win at Cardiff would really sort of put down a marker, wouldn't it? Yeah, two games, two away games, obviously the Tuesday as well at Brentford, and you know we're looking to go into those to try and win them, as I say, before we get back to Carrow Road. Uh, but as you say, yeah, um, good start up until the international break, important now we keep that going.